Alright, so unit testing with Xcode and Objective-C for your iOS or Mac applications is really easy. Uh, they have a really good, with the built-in templates here, they have really good, uh, it just sets up your unit test for you. So, uh, we're going to use that. We're going to test an iOS app. We'll hit single view application next. Uh, name this unit test tutorial and make sure this is checked include unit test so it's going to set up all our unit tests for us so just create this on my desktop and our project's created if you see over here on the left we have two targets our actual application target and then our unit test bundle here so if we click this unit test bundle and go to build phases and we look at target dependencies uh, you can see that our main application is a dependency for this unit test. So when we run the test, then our application will get built. Okay. So uh, you'll also see here under link binaries, we have this send testing kit. Um, if you don't use this template for setting up unit tests, you'll have to set up a new bundle, link your main application as its target dependency, and have this binary of send testing kit. Okay. So in our main application here, I'm going to import some classes and import these. It just generates random numbers. So if we look at this here, we have just a basic class with some uh, class methods here, random and random with max. And if we look at the code, it just returns a random number, or you can specify a max and get a random number within that range. Okay, so we're going to test these two methods here. So over here on the left, we'll in our navigator, we'll open up our unit test tutorial.m file, and you can see that our interface, it's a subclass of send test case, and we import send testing kit. So let's uh import our CM random class here that we'll be testing and if we had a class that needed to be created because we have instant methods and not class methods then we could use setup to create the class and we could use teardown to destroy it and make sure everything's uh, good to go so let's delete this and now let's create our methods so, to, for test to be automatically ran, all of your methods have to start with the word test. So, test random number, test random number with max. So, we'll have test random, and then we'll have our uh, test random with max. Okay, so, now to have this test and whether we get some feedback we need to call st assert and then here are all the different test cases so we could compare object equal objects uh, one output equals another output accuracy whether it's false whether we throw errors uh, make sure it's not nil or if we do have a nil we can test all that whether we throw an exception and whether it's true or false and so on so in this one we just want to test that whatever we get back is not a nil object so because we return an integer um, it can't integers can't be nil so we need to cast this to ns number and we'll be casting cm random random okay all right and then the next part is a description. So what do you wanna what do you want this to show you in your tests if this fell? So uh, we'll just say did not return a number. And this next parameter we can just delete it. We don't need it. Okay. So this will test our uh, just random number generation. So if we want to run the test, we can go up to product and hit test, or we can do command U and this will build our project first and then run the test and we can see that test succeeded 
So if we want to look at the output of the test over here in our navigator, the very last item here shows all, all our build logs and tests. So the top part is the most recent test and we can see unit testing complete. Okay, and everything's green and good to go. So let's go back to our test case and test out our other one. So st assert and we want to assert if whatever we have here this expression is true so we will test that cm random random with max and we'll have a maximum of 10 and we want to test oops test that this is less than or equal to 10 okay so we want to make sure that whatever we put in here is actually returning a random number that is less than or equal to that number that we put in. So for a description uh, number not between 0 and 10. Okay and then last parameter we can delete. Okay so let's command U run our tests and we have our build succeeded then test succeeded. So if we want to look at our test output, we'll go back to that and then we can see run all tests and everything was fine. So now what happens if we're working on a project, we're changing some stuff and we introduce a bug. So we have this and a random with max. Instead of taking that max number, we put in something like 2000. So so we have a bug in our code so we're working and we want to build our application so command B we build it and we want to do our tests again so command U our test succeeded our text, test ran and succeeded but we can see over here that we have an error and we can see right where it is we can click on it it will tell us uh, sh this should be true number not between 1 and 10 if we look in our last part here in our test output uh, it's actually not showing up but uh, we do let me see this alright well anyway it shows us right here what it is it gives us our explanation uh, if we had uh, this side here a little bit bigger you can see that it tells us what we input as our description if it failed and so we can go in and see right where we introduced a bug by looking in that our test random with max and we can go in fix it run our test again and uh, everything succeeds we don't have any errors or anything like that. So that's basic unit testing in Objective-C and your COCO applications.